Hey everyone, it's Vinny, and um, it's been a little over a month since I used the uh, Sammy Fat Foam um, R5, the medium red. And as you can see, it faded out really nicely. Um, it's really, really red, uh, but it's kind of faded, so I'm going to change it up a bit. And I'm not going to use another permanent color. I'm going to use a uh, Demi, which is like a glaze. But I'm going to do a balayage on my hair just to give it some like pop. And every year or so I do a balayage or I do an ombre and I do it just to add a little bit of depth to my hair, make it look really cool. And I will be back in the other room because I'm going to teach you guys a really cool technique of how to use Olaplex in a um, store brand of uh, lightener. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So I'm going to be using the uh, L'Oreal Colorista and this is the uh, ombre kit. Um, another similar one is Wild Ombre, uh, which I think they might have discontinued. Um, but it's a lightener, it's a bleach, so in order to make it less uh, damaging, I replaced the 30 volume with 20 volume, and I'm going to be using Olaplex. And what I'm looking for is not to necessarily make my hair look this blonde. I really just want to lighten some pieces in here. That way when I throw the glaze over, it's going to show up on different tones. So it'll be a little bit of darker and a little bit of lighter. I'm kind of just looking to lift it to like an orangey color, because if you go too light or too blonde, the hair may not be able to hold the pigment and you may get a really nasty uh, purple that's not intended. So be mindful of that if you want to do a different shade. So I'm going to be right back. I'm going to show you guys how to mix this. So I read the instructions on the uh, Olaplex and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to use the a travel styling kit, which is really easy. Um, it's got a uh, travel sized screw cap that has the measuring on it. So I'm going to put half an ounce of the Olaplex, just like that, into the developer. Open that, just like so. And it's very important that if you're lightening your hair, especially with a uh, store-bought bleach, that you use a bond protector. It doesn't have to be Olaplex, it can be any other brand. Um, but the important thing is that you do that because if you don't do that, you could risk uh, really damaging your hair. Um, at the very least, if you don't have a bond protector or can't get one on Amazon, you should change out the 30 volume to a 20 volume or 10 volume developer because anytime you exceed 20 volume, uh, you really run the risk of damaging your hair. Um, that's my own opinion. That's what I found that that's what I found that held true over the years. So I'm going to mix this bleach simply by unscrewing the packet. Oh, I actually need a scissor. I will be right back. Um, I got to cut this right, open. I'm back. I got a pair of scissors, but. I also want to tell you guys the color I'm going to be using after is going to be uh, L'Oreal's um, Gloss, the 5R, the Healthy Look Gloss 5R. Um, shout out to those who voted. A uh, shout out to Jester Confit 95 who voted for this. And shout out to Roxy Bear because you are just awesome. So now um, to mix the bleach, you're just going to cut the packet open. I don't know why they make it like this, but um, it's just the way it is. All right, and you're just gonna hold it and carefully pour it in there. They don't make this easy. There we go. Let me just... The lighter I don't think is de-dusted also because it kind of puffs up. Um, and this does have the horrible plastic sheet gloves, but it'll work for this because I'm not like I'm applying it all over my head. Um, you really don't want to get this on your scalp either. I don't think it's on the scalp bleach. So now that my old plex is mixed in there um, with the lightener, you're just going to twist off the cap and shake. Give it a good shake, blend it all together. And they give you an ombre brush or a balayage brush. To do a balayage, you're just gonna streak it like that. To do an ombre, you're just gonna go like that and then you can feather up. Um, be in mind that if you use this for an ombre um, and you don't feather it correctly, you're gonna have a harsh line and you may not want that. So I'm going to start right on the underneath and I'm just going to clip my hair up like so.
and it's really easy. You just put the lightener uh, in the brush. Why is it not coming out? Give me one second. All right, I'm back. So you're gonna hold the brush like so, and you're just gonna squeeze it right on in there. Get it nice and saturated. And holding your hair, you're just gonna take it and comb it through like so. And you're gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna do one more piece. I'm gonna do this over the garbage can. This is very thick, so you might have to cut the cap open more, but you're gonna take it and hold it and just streak it through like so. And it says you can process this for up to 45 minutes. Um, I'm personally not gonna do that. I'm gonna probably do like 20 or 30 and come back to show you. So I will be on when the rest of my hair is done. Okay, and I finished applying it to my hair, and as you can see, it's very uh, just gently feathered through. I'm looking for more of a natural ombre. And I'm sorry if my eyes are watering, but this product stinks like ammonia. My eyes are watering and the, it's thick. They don't really give you a lot in there. So if you do have a lot of long, if you have longer hair or hair like mine, and you want an ombre, not a balayage, you're gonna need to get two boxes or more. Um, the more the merrier. But I will be back when it is all done and processed. I'm gonna process it 20 minutes, that's it. So I'll see you guys soon. So when it is done processing, I'm gonna be putting this color on it, on the L'Oreal Paris Healthy Look uh, 5R um, Medium Red Cherry Truffle. And um, you may also find it on eBay. It's the other one right here, if you can see. It comes in a different one. Um, didn't really show up, but it's uh, a very, it looks more of like a, a a warmer red, it actually is more cool toned. It's a real like kind of cherrier red, really nice, um, really good for autumn. Um, kind of looks like that, but redder. And it does lift your hair a little bit, as I mentioned before. So I'm not gonna show me putting that on, but I'm gonna apply one bottle to my regrowth and then I'm only gonna apply it to my rest of my hair for five minutes because this product does darken if you overlap. So I will be back when it is all finished. Um, another thing too is that Olaplex does come with a treatment too. After you lighten your hair, you're gonna to wanna to rinse it. Do not shampoo. Apply treatment two for 10 minutes, rinse it out, and then you can condition and uh, recolor as you need to. So I will see you guys when it is all finished. I also forgot to mention too that when I did the Olaplex in the developer, I also put um, the lightening cream in there, which, oh, smells like really strong of ammonia. I don't know what this is, if it's a cream lightener or if it's a high lift, but um, it really is strong, so, um, just also, if you use this product, make sure you follow the instructions. Um, I did everything correctly, I just forgot to show me putting it in the uh, tube. So I will see you guys when my hair is all finished. All right, so I don't know if you can see this, but my hair is lightening really quickly. Um, it's been about 20 minutes, and it's this really red, orangey color. I'm gonna do it for five more minutes, um, and then I'm gonna rinse, because it's lightening, and I don't want it to get too, too yellow or too light, but it's gonna be a nice, pretty natural, but trendy look. Um, with the different highlights and in there and stuff. So I'm gonna go rinse this in five minutes and I'm gonna put the Olaplex Treatment 2 on it. This is really what it's gonna look like, um, at least on colored hair. Um, if you wanted more of an ombre, you would have to use a color remover on the bottom portion of it because bleach can make hair darken or if your hair is colored and you don't use a color remover, it'll make it a little bit tougher to lift so you're not gonna get that full lift as you would if you would remove the color with a color remover. So I'll see you guys soon when it's all finished. All right guys, I'm back, and as you can see, this is the result when it's dry. It's this really, really nice, um, vibrant-y, orangey with some blonde red, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color over this with my Demi. So I'm gonna have this nice, deeper root with a feather through look and a pop of color in the bottom. And I really like that because it'll show the different tones. Um, so I will be back when it's finished. And I will post links down below where you can get these products on Amazon.
All right, everyone, I am back and my hair is all done processing. It's dry. Um, I just put a little product in, a product in it to make it wavy. And as you can see, um, it covered really well. It blended in my regrowth and actually lifted it a little bit. It's right there. Um, so I had this nice gl uh, glossy, shiny hair. And as you can see where I ombre it, it's very vibrant. So it comes in through here and there's these gentle streaks going through with some of them being more vibrant than others, like right here. And all in all, I like it a lot. Um, it's a nice cool tone red. It's very cherry looking, um, pretty violety. It looks amazing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some shots tomorrow morning when it's lighter out, because I bet in brighter light it's gonna look amazing. And then after that I might just smooth it so you guys can see. Um, but yeah. I really like the results of it. Um, normally when I do lighten my hair, I use Redken bleach. I use either Redken up to seven or Redken flash lift. This was just a box that I had from a while ago. And I have one more that I just wanna use. When I'm done with that, I'm just gonna use a professional bleach. Um, it really is the same product. It really just matters what you put in the developer. I used 20 volume and I used some Olaplex in there to uh, mellow it out but I really like the result um, and I really think that uh, just letting my hair lighten for like 25 minutes was more than enough um, because I didn't want to go too light and have it come out looking ridiculous. I went for a very nice natural look like so. Kind of like edgier, edgy with classes, I would say more like edgier um, but classier, not like through the, through the roof like ridiculous looking. Um, but my hair feels healthy, it does not feel damaged. The Olaplex really uh, keeps the integrity of my hair and gave it insurance. You can purchase that on Amazon. I highly recommend doing that if you use um, bleach from the drugstore. So I will get a shot outside and then smooth it and uh, get a few more shots. So I will see you guys uh, soon. All right, so this is my hair outside in bright light and in direct sunlight. It is very, very red. It's very vibrant. It's really awesome. Um, it's pretty cool toned, and I like how you can see the different tones where it goes from kind of deep at the root and it feathers through to very light pieces into some dark at the bottom. Um, it is really violety, so even though it says 5R and it may say brown, it actually is a true red shade. Um, if you do have gray hair, uh, it will stain it brighter. Hard to see, but I do have some grays and they pick up lighter, um, but with me doing the light streaks, it doesn't uh, show up as much. Um, but I like how underneath too and on the sides, you can see different pieces that are lighter and brighter. And I really like that with this color. Um, the one thing I will say though is that your hair does kind of smell like the product after. It's like an earthy smell. Um, it's not too chemical or not too bad, which is nice. It just kind of smells a little funky. Um, but it's glossy, it's shiny, and in different lighting it looks really vibrant. Even indoors you can see it as red, which I like, because normally a red shade that you'll do will look brown in dim light, and this does look, just, it looks darker red in dim light. So this is what my color looks like in bright light. So you guys seen my hair in the lighting. I just wanted to add a little, um, information in there on balayage to clarify. Balayage, um, there's many different meanings to it. The way that I know it is a very uh, natural way of um, painting in highlights. Um, you can do them where they're very noticeable and very um, bold. You can do them very subtle, do them very fine so it looks sun-kissed. The word is French for sweeping and that's kind of the method you do if you do the brush method. I use the uh, comb method with the balayage brush which is quite different. Um, I normally prefer the brush where I dip it and I streak it through. And then I sometimes use a blur brush, which is kind of like a makeup brush, and you just feather it through upward and that helps it blend in better. Um, there's so many different ways to do it. There is no right or wrong way. It's really what your creative mind likes to do best with it. So as you can see with mine, I have like this nice halo effect with, it's deeper up here, but it slowly fades into here and you have this nice light piece that goes around and then it fades into some darkness at the ends. And I really like that. Let me see if you can see it. 
and some pieces lightened other, better than others and that's just to be expected because mine was colored, but I really like the overall result of how it breaks up the um, tones in my hair. So you can do balayage in many different ways. Um, ombre is different. Ombre is a gradation in color and there's many different ways to do that. You could do it where it's a harsh line. I personally really don't like that look. I think it looks horrible. Or you can um, apply it and then slowly feather through more and that way you have different tones as you go up but it's gentle and it fades uh, nicer. And you could do that naturally. You can do it where it looks trendy. There's so many different ways to do it. You could do it with a high lift hair color. You can do it with a hair color or you can do it with a lightener like I did. So that's just a little bit of balayage. I wanted to add that in here um, and then I'm gonna go to like the final thoughts of this video. Um, I probably will post pictures of what my hair looks like when it's smoothed um, because it looks you know pretty much the same but you can get a better idea of when you uh, smooth it out. So I will see you guys in a bit. And this is my hair all smoothed out. As you can see, uh, pretty even coverage up here. It seemed to have lifted the roots just a, a hint, like a half a shade, even though it says it, it wasn't. Um, they do use 15 volume developer, so that's probably why. Uh, very nice, very bright, very vibrant. Um, overall, I like the color a lot. 